In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my brethren. Alleluia. Coming together as God's family, together in spirit and in truth, with confidence, let us ask the Lord's forgiveness, for he is full of mercy and compassion. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompted by jealousy, they arrested the apostles and had them put in the common jail. But at night the angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and, and said as he set them, sent them out, Go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin. This was the full senate of Israel and sent to the jail for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found that they were not inside. So they went back and reported we found the jail securely locked and the warders on duty at the gates, but when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard this news, they wondered what it could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is Alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Alleluia. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. Alleluia. Look towards him and be radiant, let your faces not be abashed. The poor called, and the Lord heard them, and rescued them from all their distress. 
Alleluia. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he has redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that though the light has come into the world, people have shown they prefer darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the one who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. We receive the gift of Jesus And in him, we welcome the gift of life. We pray that this day we will come to know Jesus better, that we will see him more clearly, Love him more dearly, follow him more nearly. And in the spirit of trust and faith, we bring to Jesus those whom we wish to pray for today. We pray in a special way for those who have been given the faith, but who have somehow left Jesus behind, that they may rediscover him again, find true life, true joy, true wisdom in him. I'd like to pray today for all who have asked for special prayers, for all who are ill at the moment, Pray for Sean and Claire. Pray for Father Michael Clark, who is very ill at the moment. I'd like to remember in a special way today my nephew John, who was born 40 years ago this day. 
that he may receive the abundant blessings of the Lord, the gift of new life in him. Remember Brother Matt Cleary of our community who died on this day 26 years ago. And all the intentions that we carry in our hearts, all whom we love, all who are given to us to pray for them, all those whom we miss at this time. And we bring to the Lord, especially those who have nobody to look after them, that they may be visited by his grace, by the blessings that they need, and by the care that they need at this time. Pray for anyone who is approaching death this day. They may know that death is not the end, but the gateway into new and eternal life in Jesus. That they may be free of all fear. The light of the face of God may shine upon them. We ask Mary to be our companion this day, to be companion to all who are in need and to intercede for us before God as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Vincent Pallotti and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. And let us offer each other the wave of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.